Hey guys, what is going on? For today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Android 10 based off of Lineage OS 17.1 onto your Nintendo Switch. Now, this isn't something for everyone, but if you're bored and you want to see what else your unpatched Switch can do, you might have some fun with this. Now, this will be an extensive guide where I will teach you exactly how to get this set up. Now, some key things to remember is that you will need a CFW switch in order to do this. If you haven't set up CFW on your switch already, I do have a video showcasing how to do that, which will be linked in the description below. Now, you will need to make sure your SD card is formatted to FAT32. You will have to create a partition on your SD card for Android. So if you've already been using your Switch prior to this, you will need to make a copy of your SD card so you can put the files back in, since partitioning it will remove all the files in it. Now, if you want to use a brand new SD card for this, it might be easier, but it's all preference based and the only extra step would be copying and pasting your SD card contents back in. Now, first things first, you want to head over to the Android Switch Root forum that I will be uh, linking in the description below. Now, it does look like this, and all you have to do is read through this while you watch this video with me. Now, most of you will already have Hecate installed. If not, make sure to download the latest release and extract it to the root of your SD card. There is a link under the download section here. Now, under the Downloads tab, you will see a link for tablets. Go ahead and click on that first. You will get a download for a zip file, and it's going to be called Ecosa Tab blah blah blah. Just make sure you know where it is located on your PC. Next, you want to click on the link to GAPS, and it already tells you you want to use ARM64 Pico for tablet. So we're going to make sure that we download that version. So once you open up the website, you want to make sure that you go to the tabs and click on the website tab. And then here you want to make sure you have ARM64 ticked off Android version 10.0 and make sure it's set on Pico and click on the red button to download it. Now it will tell you that your download will start shortly. Once it does, it should pop up. If not, just click on problems downloading and it should give you a direct link to it. Now, once you have it downloaded to your PC, just make sure it's in a safe place that you can uh, get to. Now, the next step is optional, but if you are using an existing Switch SD card with files on it, you want to back it up on your PC. Now, if you have a lot of data on it, like for example, my SD card had over 60 gigs worth of data, I put the SD card directly into my PC to transfer it because it was a lot faster than doing it through the USB through Hakate. So it's totally up to you how you want to transfer the files over. I found it to be much faster by directly plugging in the SD card to my PC. Now what I did on my PC is I made a folder called Switch Backup and all I did was copy the contents of my SD card into the Switch Backup on my PC. Once you make a backup, go ahead and put the SD card back into your Switch and load up Hikate for the next step. Now, when you're booted into Hikate, make sure both of your Joy-Cons are docked. This is important because we're gonna be dumping your Joy-Con data to work your Android OS. On the bottom left, you'll see an option that says Nix Options. You wanna go ahead and click on that. Then you wanna go ahead and click on Dump Joy-Con Bluetooth in the top right. Once you do that, you'll see it saying dumping to SD card finished. It shouldn't take long. And then you'll see the success message. When you're done with that, go ahead and click on OK. Next, you want to head back to the main menu of Hikate. Then you want to go ahead and click on Tools. And then you want to click on Partition SD card. Now, this is where it's going to get a little tricky for some of you. Once again, make sure you have a backup on your PC prior to doing this since it will erase everything on it. Now, if you've never made an MUMMC, you don't have to worry about allocating space for it. However, if you did have an MU partition like I did, you want to make sure that you slide this over to 29 gigs, which will then proceed for it to say full on the right. There you go. Next is how much space you want to give for your Android partition. Now, 16 gigabytes is normally recommended um, and should be fine for most cases. My SD card is a bigger one, so I'm just going to go ahead and give it 32 gigs. Now, after you do the step, go ahead and click on next step and follow the instructions. Now, it, a warning message will 
pop up saying um, this will partition the SD card. Your files will be wiped. Um, if you do want to make a copy or a backup of your files, you can actually click the SD UMS if your USB is connected to your PC. But if you already followed my instructions in the beginning, you should have already made a backup. Now go ahead and click on start and it's going to give you a safety message to make sure that this is exactly what you want to do. So you want to go ahead and click on the power button to continue and then it's going to go ahead and format your SD card. Now that it's done, you want to make sure you put in those two files that we initially downloaded from the, from the website. Now in order to do that, you could click on SD UMS first. If you do that, it's going to mount your switch onto your PC and you should be able to add the files in that way. However, I do like restoring everything with my SD card directly connected to my PC as opposed to the USB because it is a bit slow. So go ahead, take out your SD card, put it back onto your PC and then do the file transfers that way. So what you want to do is actually close out of this and then you could put your SD card back into your PC and then I'll show you exactly what to do from there. Once you put your SD card back into the switch, you're gonna see that there is only a bootloader folder in there. So open up where you had your backup and you wanna go ahead and copy and paste this back into your switch SD card. Now, once you finish backing up your SD card, you want to go ahead and put in the two files that we downloaded earlier. Now the first zip file was the Ecosa one. Go ahead and open that up and you'll see that inside this folder there is a bootloader folder, a switch root folder, and a flashable folder. Now what you want to do is you want to take these three and copy it to the root of your SD card just like this. Now, if you run into um, this message right here, just make sure you click on replace the files in the destination. After doing that, you want to go ahead and find the gaps file that you downloaded earlier. Now, you don't want to open it up. You want to actually keep it in a zipped format and go ahead and put that onto your SD card. Now, once you do that, make sure that um, your folders look exactly like mine. If not, you might have something extra. It's totally fine. You, some of you may not have the MUMMC. Um, make sure that you guys do not extract these two folders. Make sure you keep it just as it is. Now, once you do that, go ahead and put the SD card back into your switch and load up Hikate and we'll continue from there. Once you're booted back into Hikate, go ahead and click on the tools option. Go back to partition SD card. And then you should see an option that says flash Android. You want to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to tell you this will flash kernel DTB and TWRP. If found, do you want to continue? Now go ahead and click on continue. Once it does that, it's, it's going to ask you, do you want to reboot um, to finish Android installation? Go ahead and click on continue and wait. Now, once you're in this, you want to make sure that you swipe to allow modifications. Once you do that, you should go ahead and click on install and then click on select storage and make sure you click on your micro SD card. Click OK. Now you want to go ahead and install lineage first. So click on lineage and click on swipe to confirm flash. Once you do that, let it go and finish up the installation process. If any errors come up, make sure that you just ignore them. They are expected. Now, once you're done installing that, go ahead and click on the little back arrow, and then you can go ahead and install gaps. So make sure you click on that and swipe to confirm. Now, once this is done installed, go ahead and click on reboot system. And it should boot you back into Android. Once it's booted up, you're going to see a welcome screen. Go ahead and click on start. And it's going to tell you to connect to Wi-Fi. Um, I'm just going to skip this for now. It's going to tell you to click date and time. 
Once you do that, go ahead and click on the necessary options, click accept. And if you wanna put a pin or a pattern, you can. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip all of this for you guys. After that, click next. Um, and I'm gonna skip that. And you can go ahead and click on start. And then welcome to your Android on your Switch. You can go ahead and use the Play Store and you can sign in to use all of the apps on there. If you want to look at your notifications, you can swipe down from the top left. And if you want to pull up the home menu, you can swipe up from the bottom. Now, if you want to head back into Hecate, all you have to do is hold down the power button and you'll see an option that says restart. Once you click on restart, hold down the volume button when the Hecate sign comes up and you'll reboot back here. From here, you can click on launch and you can load up into whatever partition you want. Or if you want to get back into Android, you just click on more configs and click on the switch root Android 10 icon here. That concludes my video. I hope you guys enjoy um, using Android on your switch. If you have any questions, make sure to join my discord server and ask any questions in the off topic modding support channel. Thank you guys and take care.